It is freezing cold outside. Having heat in our homes is not just a luxury, it's a necessity. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. It is a sad fact. There are thousands of people struggling to pay their energy bills this time of year just in Spokane County alone. One local woman reached out to us for help. Katarina Krasafis has this story you'll only see on 4 News Now. Well, admitting we need help is not an easy thing to do, especially when it's something we've never had to do before. When Meg came to us, she initially didn't want to go on camera, but decided to share her story to let others know they're not alone. They say you should never judge a book by its cover. Nobody knows what's going on when I go inside and shut the door. On the outside, everything in Meg's life seems just fine. But in reality... I'm so cold at night that I sleep with shoes on because socks don't do it. Meg, who didn't want to use her last name, has lived in Spokane for the past 20 years. My most recent job, which has um, been over six years, I worked in the gift industry as a sales rep. She says everything was going great until her fiance died by suicide. I was able to hold it together until my health started to go down. She's had seven back surgeries and has been on disability for almost a year. It wasn't until last week that things went from bad to worse. She was let go from her job. At that point, my world just crumbled. Meanwhile, the bills kept piling up. I suddenly opened my electric bill and it was huge. That's when she called Avista, who told her about SNAP, but getting in touch with them wasn't an easy task. Every time I called and pressed the numbers I was supposed to press, I would get a recording that said, due to higher than normal call volume, this mailbox is closed. After receiving a notice that her power would shut off in the next few days. That's when I reached out to KXLY for help. SNAP was able to pay her bill in full. But what she learned over the phone helped her realize she wasn't alone. They explained that at the beginning of the month, they had over 50,000 applicants trying to call and to get through. Although it hasn't been easy. To have to get to this point and to reach out and ask for help is really hard. She hopes her story can inspire others to do the same. I live in a house. I live in a great neighborhood. And I'm just a normal person. And it can happen to anybody. Now, SNAP says this is the highest number of calls they've ever received. So if you're in a similar situation, there are options for you in ways that you can also get help. We'll tell you all about those resources coming up. Erin, Mia.